Hey guys, it's History Behind the Warrior, and welcome to another Soul Calibur video. Now today, due to popular demand, I'll be talking about Mina Song. Now Mina originates from South Korea, and is the daughter of Han Myung, a Korean swordsman and martial artist. So she grew up around her father in his dojo. Now it was only a matter of time for when she'd follow her father's footsteps, and she did this by becoming a somewhat fighting prodigy, as by the age of 16, she had in fact already surpassed her father, who had decades of experience. Now during this time, her father was sorting out an arranged marriage for her with Huang Song, but marriage was clearly something she wasn't interested in, as she was more of a fighter than anything else. She actually tried to enlist in the military, as South Korea were having skirmishes with Japan, but was denied an opportunity to join the military due to her gender. Although she was saddened by this, she wasn't disheartened, especially when she heard the stories of a weapon known as Soul Edge, which was referred to as the Sword of Salvation. But she believed that by getting her hands on this weapon, it would open open up to her a lot of opportunities, so Mina would set off to travel west with the hopes of obtaining it. Now whilst on her journey she would come across Huang, and the two decided to work together to find Soul Edge, but unfortunately their quest was cut short, as an impending Japanese invasion was about to happen to Korea, so the two were more or less dragged back home. But it wasn't long until Mina ran away again, as she was tired of constantly training with her father and being pressured by him into marriage. So when she left Korea, she would try to track down some sort to find Soul Edge, and that's where she heard of Ivy, who was also at the time searching for Soul Edge. Now when she confronted Ivy for more information, she would be told the truth about what Soul Edge was, about how it was a demonic weapon that was soaked in the blood of innocence. But Mina did not at first believe her. Now upset and angered, she would in fact lash out at Ivy, but was quickly defeated by Ivy and her whip blade. Now after her defeat, she'd be approached by an old drunk man wielding a bow staff, who scolded her for acting out of sheer anger. And and again, in a fit of rage, she would try to strike him down. But he was in fact able to deflect all of her blows, showing that although he may be drunk, he wasn't a fool. And impressed by this man's skill, Mina would beg him to teach her his ways. Now the old man didn't really have any plans in mind, and decided to teach her in exchange for more alcohol. Now a year would pass by, and her fighting skills were now exceptional. But one day, her master would mysteriously disappear, leaving her a goodbye note, and saying that he taught her everything he knew. Now despite her teacher's absence, Absence, Mina would continue to train for two more years, but was once again dragged back home to Korea. Now four years would pass by, and at her family dojo, one of her father's students, Young Song, was disheartened, as he didn't feel like his skills were meeting up to his idols. So out of pity, she would hand him a legendary weapon in the Song family, a Dao blade known as the White Storm, which was said to give its wielder incredible power. Now Mina's charity was out of the kindness of her own heart, but her generosity does backfire very quickly, as Yun around this time heard about the tales of Soul Edge, so he would set out much like Mina did to track down the weapon. Now Mina would also set out, as she felt responsible for this entire situation happening, and she wanted to find Yun to stop him from pursuing Soul Edge, as his quest could get him killed since he didn't know the truth about Soul Edge. Now during her journey across the Ming Empire, she'd get into a fight with a man, and after winning the bout, the onlookers were shocked to see that she had a fighting style that strongly resembled the fable Ling Sheng Su style, which was a fighting style that was only briefly mentioned to her. It then came to a realisation that the old alcoholic man that had been teaching her may have in fact been a student of the school. So Mina would take a detour from her main quest, and actually travel to the Li Sheng Su temple. But unfortunately when she arrived there she found it destroyed and burned to the ground. So she would travel around the mountain, hoping to find someone that used to live at the temple. And this is where she came across Edgemaster. Now when she came face to face with him, she would challenge him to a fight. Now Edgemaster at first would decline, but she strongly insisted that the two battle so she could test her own strength. Now the two would fight and Mina was defeated rather quickly. Now despite their very short battle, Edgemaster was surprised to see some familiar moves in her arsenal that resembled the Li Sheng Su fighting style, and thus he would invite her to stay and train. Now over the next several months, Mina would train with Edgemaster, and her fighting capabilities increased greatly over this time. But unfortunately she couldn't stay around for too long, as she still needed to find Yun. So she would sadly have to depart from her new master, but did say that after all of this was done, she would come back and bring Yon along too, as she thoroughly enjoyed his teachings. Now during the events of Soul Calibur 4, Mina was able to track down Yon to Istanbul, and here she in fact met Talim, who was also travelling with him. And it's here where she would tell Yon that the sword he'd in fact been pursuing was nothing more than an evil demonic blade. Now Yon was in shock and denial, but Talim confirmed everything that Mina had said, and that the sword was a tainted weapon of pure evil. Now Yon would leave secretly in the middle 
middle of the night, as he still wanted to pursue after Soul Edge. Now when Mina and Talim awoke, Mina was distraught, as she'd only just found him the day before and he was gone once again. But Talim reassured her that he did have a good head on his shoulders, and that hopefully if he does come across Soul Edge, he'll make the right choice. And Talim would also give Mina some peace of mind, by telling her about the Holy Sword Soul Calibur, and how this blade was in fact destined to destroy Soul Edge. Now after this, the two would in fact part ways, and Mina would travel to Ostreinsberg to track down Yun. But that's really it for the Mina song video guys. Unfortunately, she doesn't appear in Soul Calibur 5, as she's sadly one of the many individuals that get cut out due to the introduction of a newer generation of characters, so her fate is somewhat left unknown. But since we are well aware that Siegfried did battle Nightmare and defeated him at the Battle of Ostreinsberg, I believe that it's quite safe to say that the two did return back to South Korea, as their quest would have come to an end. As to what happens after this is quite hard to say, since Mina isn't even mentioned in Soul Calibur 5, so for all we could know she may have just settled down and had a family. But yeah, that's it for this video guys, hopefully you've enjoyed it and learned more about the character, despite the somewhat quite abrupt ending here. Now what do you guys think about her chances are of being in Soul Calibur 6? Please do comment down below. Also I want to say thank you to everyone that watched last week's videos, I hope you enjoyed the Soul Calibur 6 gameplay, it's not the most top level stuff, but hopefully you guys all kind of get an idea of what this game is going to be when it's released. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this as you guys actually voted for this one, and Tira actually only lost this by 8 votes. So down in the comments again, put down a Soul Calibur character you'd like to see me cover. Now much like this week's episode, whichever character gets the most thumbs up will determine next week's episode, so you guys know what to do down below. Now before this video does wrap up guys, if possible let's try getting it to about 500 likes, as a great way of helping out this channel since YouTube's ad system is broken as hell. So be giving it a thumbs up, it helps out a ton. And if you want to go the extra step, we also have a Patreon set up, and a link for that will be down in the description below. Anyway guys, as always, please comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. Please take care, and I'll see you all next time.